13 Skylight here, also known as Stairs, and welcome back to more Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I am going to be entirely honest and say that I am not feeling myself today. Um, for starters, I woke up not feeling good. I had to actually call off of work just because of stomach problems. And by the time that I finally started to drag myself up to start feeling better, I got some uh, depressing news about some recent changes, and this is going to sound super boring, but like in tax law, um, that are just kind of going to affect my photography business directly, and it's super unfortunate, and I'm not thrilled about it. Um, if you want to figure that out for yourself, Google like the, the changes made to the 1099 tax law for 2021. And you'll get like the whole encompassing thing. So like I'm I'm physically not feeling great. Mentally I get hit with a whammy. So I was like, I I actually kinda just wanna play some Skyward Sword and feel like feel accomplished, you know, and be doing things. So if I'm not energetic, that's why. Which is I know not super normal for me unless I'm exhausted or half dead. That's kinda where we're at today. And I didn't have coffee, so I'm yawning. Um, okay, yeah, I did have lights on. Why is it so dark in my corner? But, let's get into it. And, honestly, I feel like just making, um, making these guys, like, run away. Yeah! Run! Run! Yeah! Change course real quick, didn't you? I'm shocked, by the way, how quickly... See if I can make any more of them like run off the edge. Come on. I was hoping somebody would. Aw, did their path thing get fixed? Okay, and there's a whole bunch of bats, none of which I can seem to hit. Alright, it's fine. I wonder though if. Go ahead. Yeah. At least it's got me to do them like one at a time. Which is something. Ow! I honestly should be blocking. Oh, there is one of those. Cool. What did what'd you break into? Nothing. Alright, so I don't have to send my thing down there to come get whatever it was. And nothing in your alcove, and nothing in your alcove. Nobody can give me a heart? Hey, guys, give me a heart. Nobody a heart, huh? Can I just... Oh, I was hoping maybe I could get it. Nope. What happens if I jump down over here? Why is this, like, edged out weird? Huh. Okay. Alright, I, I know you want to talk to me, Fee. Um, well, I think I have some of these violin bugs. Not that it particularly is going to matter in the grand scheme of things. Oh, cutscene. Yeah, I too would walk like that if I'm coming up over a ledge where I could fall on my death. Then again, though, you do fall from the, the sky a lot, so like that doesn't make a lot of sense to be afraid of it. You have reached the top of the tree. Great, now what? From this vantage point, you have a good view of the world. Perhaps you will see an area you haven't explored. No kidding, I know where it is. There's a freaking gate. I could have told you. Why did I have to come all the way to the top of the tree to know to go to a gate on the other side? You know what, whatever. If it's the gate, I'm not gonna be thrilled. Oh, that's the noise. It's not the spiders. It's this guy who's actually hungry. I see. Master, look up there. Please stop making that annoying noise. You've been driving me crazy and actually making me hungry. I have confirmed the discovery of a new Kikwi. Really? Have you, Fee? Have you? Analysis indicates a 90% chance that sound we've been hearing 
were the loud snores of this Kikui. Oh, so he's not hungry, just to sleep. And there's nowhere else to go up here. So I'm just going to have to hit him out of the sky. I'm just going to do it this way, because let's be honest, this is easier than shooting him out with the... Uh... There you go. Kikui! Oh. Does he have dreadlocks? Who's it? I'm napping. Oh, look at that. A real live human. I haven't seen one of you around in a while. Correct? They used to call me Yerbal. Now I'm just the old Kikui hermit. I watch over this forest here when I'm not napping. I still don't know what voice I'm doing, dude. I don't know how you wandered all the way up here, but let me ask you something. Can you really see me? Yeah. Why? Is that so? Well, then slap yourself on the back, correct? You know, some Kikwis can't even see me these days. Really? Really, Yerbal. But forget all that nonsense and tell me, correct? What business does a real live human have in these woods? Hey, uh, the flame. No point in lying to you, you probably know where it's at. Especially if you're an old hermit who's been here a while, you're probably the voice of reason. I.e., um... Oh man, who is... In, in Ellie Wiesel's night... There was like the old hermit that like... Got captured and then he came running back and told them all the truth and nobody believed him. I don't remember his name, but... Anyway. You're out questioning for a flame to enhance your sword, Quark. So that you can find someone else? Someone important to you? Huh? I mean, I'm important to you, but you, you know, you just met me, right? How about that? A human who can see me and seeks a great flame. Quark. Listen, do you promise not to breathe a word of what I'm about to tell you to another soul? I'm serious. Quark. No promises. Yeah, sure, dude, whatever. Ooh. I mean, does the AI in my sword count? Because you're kind of telling my sword AI, too. Alright, I'll tell you. But remember, it's a secret to everybody. Yeah. The flame that you seek. It's most likely Fjord's flame. Yes, yes, Fjord's flame. That story begins very long ago, when the goddess was still with us. Cro the goddess gave the flame to the water dragon, a great spirit that presides over Farron Woods. The way I hear it is she left the flame in the care of the water dragon. That's really pretty to look at. So that one day the mighty dragon could pass it to the one from the sky. You see, correct. I got a hunch that that goddess was talking about you, lad. Actually, you know what? You're perhaps the most insightful NPC that I've actually come across that hasn't been super annoying. So, bravo to you, Yerbal. Well, that settles it. You must seek out the mighty water dragon. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Locked off behind the frickin' fence. Her lair is deep in the lake in the south of these woods, Kurt. She watches over the flame here. There. Yep. There's a problem, though. The gate that leads to that lake is sealed shut to... all those judged unworthy. But don't worry, Qua. I'll let you know the trick to opening the gate. What? To open the gate, you have to channel the power of the goddess into the carved symbol on its door. I figured that much. If it's literally a matter of hitting it with the Skyward Strike, tell me I did that in one of the first episodes. Just tell me. Because I was about to bypass literally every problem and be smarter than Sparkle slash Link ever would have been. Oh, but it isn't so simple. The symbol is incomplete. Ah, there we go. That's why it didn't do it. They knew that somebody was gonna try it on that door and skip literally the whole plot line. To unlock the gate, you must make the symbol whole. Oh. The only way you'll know what 
the complete symbol should look like is to first find that same completed symbol somewhere else in the woods. The gate is down south, so it's likely that there's a matching symbol somewhere up north. Try searching. Uh, I'm gonna imagine it's somewhere over here somewhere. That's my theory anyway. Do I have to actually plant them? Is all this seeping into your head, lad? Do you know where you must go to find the symbol you seek? Yeah, I have a general idea. Then I wish you safe travels, lad. Oh, wait up! This is not about to be an escort mission, is it? Oh, wow. Your tail is all ratted. I forgot to mention this earlier, but it's important. Her Excellence, the Water Dragon, is very, um, persnickety about manners, so watch yours. I've heard stories of folks who caught her in a fussy mood. They ended up as morning snacks. I'll probably taste like old cave moss, but it's not a hurry to become a royal meal. So don't let her know I told you about Fiora's flame, okay? And remember, when you're in her hall, you better be on your best behavior and be a gracious guest. I'll be here napping if you need some of my elder wisdom. See you around. Okay. So... Before I take the risk of dropping down, let's just go for a quick ride. I literally can't pilot this thing to go, like, too much further down. This is actually difficult. Um... Wow. Alright. That did not do me any good. But... There is this jumping off point. And I wonder what it leads to. And the fact that that guy got replaced with a bigger guy down there makes me have some questions. Oh, I see. That's to get to that. But how do I know where to go? I have to find the rest of the symbol. And they said somewhere in the north. But where in the north? I'll take the risk and then I can always just come back up here. At a later point. No, land it! Aww. Man, I missed. Missed the whole thing. Uh, oh. Well, there's where the two of you went. What's that? You met an old hermit up in the... In the Kikwi living up in the tree? Amazing. All this time, I was sure there were only five of our kind in the woods. What a wild world we live in. I hope we can meet our lost brother soon. Well, um... Based on everything I'm sensing, somewhere around here would be key. But so far, still no luck. I'm trying to think of places I have yet to be in this area. Unless it's, like, inside of there. Which is entirely possible. Because, like, there's been nothing going on in here. Ow! What? Thank you for your death. I mean, that's the only place I haven't been, was in that centerfold. Can I just teleport to another... Thing, or do I actually have to... Ooh, wait, hearts. I could use the hearts, actually. Hearts, hearts, hearts. Okay, so... That looks like the only place I haven't been. I mean... Unless it's over there, but... This is some place to the north. And then put me specifically on this map. So if that's it... 
It'd be somewhere around this chest. I'm not entirely sure. Can I just teleport to that other thing? I know, my only option is to the sky. Unless, can I just... Nope. Okay. I guess I'll have to try to go for that at a later point. Okay. So somewhere else in the north. I'm gonna try going up there and see what happens. Because something about that just kind of gives me the vibes, but... I don't know where else seems like a good enough place. This is where the chest is, so they do anticipate coming back here at some point. another potentially good spot. Don't worry about it, dude. Yeah? Oh, that didn't send it back. Interesting. So... Let's see. There's an area over there. Can I douse for it? Nope. Yep, that's what I thought, dude. Thanks. Um... Unless... There is a hole right here. I don't know what that could lead to. I'm hearing something that sounds like on the right track noises, but... Unless it's in the center here. Which to some degree would make some sense to me. No? Yeah, because I showed this place off. <laughs> Yeah. So it's not over here? See how it- oh. Wait a second. Am I just dumb? I think I'm just dumb. Hey, plant monsters, can you believe it? I'm dumb. Oh, no, that's something else entirely, okay. Perfect. I just literally need one more and then I can be healed. I don't know. I don't know. But that's all the time that we got for this episode. So I'm sure that we'll start getting on the right track soon. So thanks everyone so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you liked what you saw here today. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I upload another episode of Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Take care, everyone. <laughs>